Hey guys, Miss Luke Kid here, and we're back for episode 13 of The Warriors. Road to Glory, Clear, Career Mode thingy, whatever, live con series. And uh, we're taking on Manly. Nathan Friend is back after playing Origin. Um, actually, I didn't say who won, uh, but they were in the team, and uh, I think Jacob Lilliman was also in it. We're using their squad, I should say. And uh, they're back. I've dropped Steve Rapira. Uh, Sam Rapira is a starter, and Steve Rapira was on the bench in, uh, just due to poor form, according to the game. I don't usually pay attention to it too much, but on here, just them. And um, he hasn't really been doing it for me. But I'm just going to be talking about um, talking about like improvements for the game once again. And um, I've checked out the Big Ant forum, and now if you're wondering who Big Ant are, um, they they're like a producer or something. True Blue, actually, I think True Blue are the producer, and then Big Ant are like one of the other people that help out as well. So Big Ant and True Blue are the makers of the game, and um, they've got the forum. And I'm looking at their rugby league live three wish list and ideas. Now, the first person like to comment on it, he said that uh, like a my player mode. I think I think that is a must have to be honest. Um, I was talking about last episode about what like FIFA has, and um, it has it, and it it didn't even originally have it. Um, obviously the my player mode has been made famous in um the NBA series, and you know this this just so much creativity can be made through that. Um, it's got so much potential with it, and if you can pull it off successfully, like the NBA, I mean, I know they don't have the budget of um those sort of series, but um, surely it wouldn't be too hard for a games company um, to do it. And uh, it's not as if um, this game didn't sell any copies. Uh, I'd no, I'd say that it sold a lot more than the last one because the last one didn't sell much, and they managed to make a better game than the last one. And um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully we will get to see a my player mode and. Um, they'll have enough money to like bring in all these new ideas and stuff. Um, for my play mode, I guess you could have sponsorships. I mean, I guess it's hard to do a licensing. I'm saying I'm, I guess, but um, I know a thing is like for FIFA, like you used to be able to get sponsors, and they say, "Oh, but can't you just change sponsors?" It's like I saw someone on the forums um not long ago say, "With a lineup, oh, here we go, Mateo, come on." I think that should be a try. Um, they said um, for like the grand final or whatever, like in the final series, it, like the logo on there, it says 2013. They said, why couldn't it just change to 2014 and stuff? And that's just due to licensing. Like for whatever reason, the, they won't let them change the number on there. So or the year, sorry. So you know, just little things like that you can't help with, but. Um, I think even if they create their own like fake sponsors that you can get sponsored by, like the boots, they don't have any licensed boots in here. If they don't have to do that, you can just make some make your own cut like fake brand of boot boot stuff. Then you can get sponsored by them, and I don't know. And um, I thought I think that'd be pretty cool. You get to start off playing your Files Cup. Obviously, oh, I'm not saying obviously as well a lot. Um, but to do that, to say start off out in the twenties or um, playing SG ball, all the, the young groups, all that sort of stuff. Um, you need to be able to have the. Well, I'll say in the last episode how they got the like New South Wales Cup under 20s, all like separate teams for whatever reason. They need to be able to make that into one side, and I don't know why it didn't happen this time, but um, it didn't, and um, it's quite annoying. Midfield bomb. Kevin Lock. Uh, what else did they write? Um, someone else has wrote. Um, just like with the with players. So in the other ep in the episode before this, I said how you get mid-season signings and um all that sort of thing. You actually be able to make signings throughout the season. Um, this one's talking about um being able to release players. Maybe release them uh, off like. So, for example, on here, I'm not a big fan of Todd Lowry. He could be taking up a bit of uh, cap space. Um, instead of him rotting away in the reserves, 
he probably could go to another side. Oh, Vatavai, Vatavai. Thomas Lula. Oh, damn. Didn't quite draw him in enough. Could have got an offload away, but possibly intercepted. We're going for friend. Oh, I didn't get the put down. Oh, God, what was I going to say? Oh, my God, I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh yeah, like releasing like Todd Larry. Um, he is a good player, but he's just not for me. So if you could go back to the Eels or someone, um, I know, I know in real life usually if you release a player from their contract, you pay some of their next wage or next salary, I should say. Um, or it might be wage. Sean Johnson straight over Nathan Friend, great pass, make him subs. But I think I just think like little things like that would be pretty cool. Um, what else has he right? Oh, okay, this is cool. Um, you, they have a spot. You can look at the memberships. You can look at how many members you've got and average crowds and um, all that sort of stuff. And the guy said that he's number one in both of those. Yet at the start, you only ever get like the sponsor money. Like surely, like for, to pay in for um, coaches. And I'm pretty sure coaches don't go any salary cap or anything like that, so it doesn't affect it. But the like, you should be able to get more money through that based on, like, members and stuff like that because they, I'm 100% certain they pay for people's wages. Some, like, some somehow, like, will come back and pay for the wages, like, eventually. Um, there's obviously a lot of other things that they'd pay for. But, um, yeah. If you've got 30,000 members, that's a lot. So instead of getting the... 150 grand that every team seems to get. Um, like having members and stuff should make you get um, more amounts of money. Because we all know, like, say Bulldogs, they I think they're one of the teams with more money. And if you compare them to say the Sharks, who had no money pretty much, you think they'd they'd be able to buy better coaches and all that sort of stuff? Oh, it's great tackle, Lula. Um, also, I saw another thing on the forum. Oh, no, that's terrible. Another thing I saw on the forum here is that... You see, uh, like, the World Cup. Say, he's used Michael Jennings as an example. Um, he He's, like, first nationality he would select would be Australia. And then he's sort of got, um, I think it was, he called it Origin or something like that. Heritage, Heritage. He called it Heritage. And his was Tonga, so... I guess for a World Cup or something, they could get picked for a Tonga for the Tongan side if they're not in the Australian side. Um, just um, I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, you know, just little things like that would be very cool. Also, I think something that really needs to be added in is um, I don't know if it's on the forum, it probably is, but like the training mode it needs to be stepped up. You should be able to do like they should put mini games in on FIFA. They have the mini games, so like when you're loading. You pass. They don't necessarily need to have the loading thing because I find it, I don't use it anyways when I'm waiting to play. But um, when you're like when I first went to play the game, I was trying to figure out like just get the controls and stuff. And all you can do is just play as one side, one ground. Um, and you can just pass it and do like the kicks. You should have it so you can practice your set plays and stuff. And um, you know just little things like that. Like separate. I keep saying that little things like that. Um, but I think it'd be really cool if you could, I don't know, do a thing where you got to kick a 40-20 or you got to kick it in a certain area. You just practice those little things. In FIFA, they have a um, a game mode where you got to kick it into the barrels. Like you got to do like a lob ball or something, and um, or clearance or some shit, and you got to kick it into the barrels. I think that'd be very. You could do that quite easily in this. Um, start off under the post or something and kick, run up to the 40 and kick it. I don't know. There's just there's so much creativity you can use in that. That's a good little play there by Manly. Um, what else is there? What else is there? Well, um, someone's wrote like the negotiations when you're getting a contract. So I'm not sure if they. I don't know. They haven't specified what they mean, but. They just said they need to be on more in depth, but maybe they could also another thing of FIFA go well. Um, I don't know. Who could I say? 
Kevin Locke, you're just a, you know, you're just a first grader here. If you, if you come to the Eels, you can become, oh no, that doesn't really work. Simon Minute, oh no, it doesn't really work. I don't know who to pick. Luke Brooks, at the Tigers, you're just an up-and-comer. You have Benji Marshall ahead of you, but if you came to the Bulldogs, you'd be a first grader. Oh, you know, yeah, that sort of stuff. Squad roles, I think, yeah, that's that's what I'm looking for, a squad role. So if you see, it's like in FIFA, um, so you got a youngster, so that I'd say, well, if, for example, I think Raheem Sterling from Liverpool, like he's like 18, um, he is like a future squad player or something, or squad rotation. A lot of the youngsters, like 18-year-olds, 17-year-olds, whatever, they're just future first-team players. Oh, Conrad Earl. Try. That was crappy, but we'll take it. So, yeah, I think that'd be very cool. Well, Lula, like, he's... He might be an important first-team player because he's always in the squad lineup here. But, um, you can make him a crucial player if he would go to Super League team or something, I don't know. Or Sean Johnson. Yeah, Sean Johnson, that'd be cool. Just, you know, that, I think that's a really good thing that they could add. Yeah, I think it'd be very well, very good. Actually, one thing that's came into to mind, like Bryson Goodwin, um, he would like say last year he was a he was a um a squad rotation player or something like he would he would play occasionally like if someone was out injured or something he was next in line for the Bulldogs, and then this year he's uh, came in for Rabbitohs and he's had a um, important first team role. I think that'd be really cool, instilling um like instead of just going based off money like. You see the weirdest, um, you see the weirdest, like, teams on here, like, years down the track. Also, another thing that should be taken into account is, like, how successful the team is. So, if you've got a team that's winning premierships all, like, all the time, winning premierships all the time, yeah, they're going to attract better players. But instead, like, Parramatta here, they could sign bloody Cameron Smith, Cooper Cronk, they could sign all of them. Even if they come in dead last, they'll sign all of them. It's um, that it doesn't seem to pay any attention, which is quite frustrating. As I don't know, they just all all the time like all my players just seem to go to other like the worst sides on crappy deals, and yeah, I just find it very annoying. Now I touched on this uh, on earlier, like just bringing all those squads together, all the New South Wales Cup, Toyota Cup, bringing them all in. What they could do, make it so you can like still have those squads separate, you can pick them to be in that squad, but you can call them up. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh, it's in this set. Shit. Go and lock. Get to him. Oh, we're not going to get him. Oh, we do get him. Kevin Locke. Great tackle, what a tackle. Try saver right there. Um, now one thing, someone's right here. Um, be pretty cool. And it also, it's on the rugby league manager one. Um, picking like a t picking your, like your side like beforehand. So you pick your 1 to 17 and then if you get any injuries or you want to change something, you can change at the last second. Pick a, pick a squad of 19 or 20 or whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, I think that'd be very cool. Because th there's times when you... Like, you, you, you never see every week, like, week for week... Oh, I can't believe they scored that. Week for week in here, it's 1 to 17. Like, a week for week in real life, sorry. It's 1 to 17 all the time, like. You see players pull out all the time, they warm up and all that sort of stuff. You see number 18 come in, except for the Bulldogs, they don't have 18. Or 18, 19, whatever. They all come in. And I'm going again. Very unprofessional. I'm sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so, like the squad number stuff, I, I think it would be pretty cool to be able to have number 19 who's just come in at the last second. And... Another guy said, being able to take your games away from home, um, that's that's realistic. It happens quite a lot. Also, it sort of goes in with what we were saying before about 
um, getting money so you can buy better players and stuff. Maybe um, if you take if you take uh, games away from home, you get more money up front, but in the long term you might lose members or something if you do it enough on all that sort of stuff. Another thing that I just thought of, back in the day on, I'm going to say FIFA 06 or something like that, you could select ticket prices. You could select um, low, medium, high, and generally if there's like a huge game, so for example, if, you have a, if it's one versus two, you'd pick um, higher ticket, higher ticket, um, some, I don't know. Like the prices of tickets would be higher, and then say if you're versus the for example, if I was taking on the Eels right now, although it doesn't doesn't really work for this, but if um, first spot was versing um, last spot, you would select to um, have like a low thing, so you'd still get a good attendance. Um, that could that's, that also goes in with like the making money part. Some actual gameplay elements. I guys done a um, full write up on it. He said, uh, better stats, um, on, when you're defending on your own line, have them crouching and stuff. And, uh, more players, like, more group tackles when they're on your own try line. So you see in real life, when one person sort of got wrapped up on their own try line, they'll all come in and try and get them to the ground or push them back, whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll talk about more of that in the next episode. Sean John's picking up Manly Mash, defeat Manly. They were in ninth spot, we were in first. I think this could uh, be quite good, just going through the people's wish list, Rugby League Live 3, I think it'd be pretty cool. Obviously you can't talk about it forever, but um, I think it could span out a few different episodes. We'll just take a look at the results. We'll still be in first, obviously, because we had a two-point lead to start off with, and potentially four-point lead. I'm not sure who was second, I think it was the Knights. He was one, Ben Roberts, man match. Dragons, one, Soward, man match. Cowboys beat the Bulldogs, Brent Tate, man of the match. And then there's the Warriors. Sean Johnson picking up man of the match. Tim Moulton for the Tigers. And Jacob Miller, he's not there. Um, Storm beat Cronulla. Broncos beat Raiders, Ben Hennett. And then, um, yeah, Titans and Rabbitohs had the buyer. So there's the ladder. And it appears Knights have dropped down a little bit. Unlucky for them, but good for us. We now picked a four-point um, advantage up on them. I just know why. I, I don't know why I clicked that. Isaac Luke, he's tied for with Thomas Lula. First, Sean Johnson is in um, third. Um, anywhere else? Kevin Locke is in sixth, I think. Nathan Friend in eighth. So I'm mentoring in, what, 9th, 10th, I don't know, 6, 7, 8, 9, he's in 9th, and Vatify's in 10th, I believe, I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing that there was 10 on that page. Um, just for anybody, like, future references or whatever, you can look at the memberships, Warriors are last, so maybe my goal could be to try and get them off last or something, I don't know. And then the crowds, we've had the most, um, attendance in crowds, so our largest attendance was 65,000. To be fair, when you see the crowds, you don't really, you don't really see that. I guess we look at the stats or something here. Um, Warriors, yeah, there you go. Just going to go through here. Oh no! Oops. Um, yeah, that's the end of the episode. I thank you all for watching. I had a lot of fun here playing, and I think a few good ideas came out of this episode. And um. Yeah, if you have any good ideas, leave them down in the comment section below. I'd like to see what you think, or what you thought about, and yeah. I'll see you next time for the game against the Roosters, who in 13th spot, which like Manly, very weird, them being down there, but I'll see you next time. See you, bye.